reporting for Katie Chats here in downtown Toronto with the founder and co-director of the Scarborough Film Festival, Sergei Petrov. What inspired you to found the Scarborough Film Festival? Hi Katie, thank you very much first of all. Uh, so there are many inspirations to, 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 to kind of start this festival going and uh, um, and many people ask that question and there's no particular story in terms of some fun story, you know, just uh, but there are, again, many different reasons. Most of our team, myself, we used to live in Scarborough, or some of the people continue to live in Scarborough, and there's really nothing, not nothing, there are things going on, but uh, we want to kind of enhance the culture uh, for outside of downtown. As you might know, there are over 70 film festivals in GTA. 99% are held downtown, so uh, we thought, well, maybe let's bring something and uh, and do something outside of downtown. So again, if, if I'm a filmmaker or a film lover kind of and I want to go see films I have to drive downtown or take the subway and you know it's, it's tough so we want to bring something for the residents but also the, the other side is bring people from outside of outside of Scarborough to kind of invite them and say well, listen it's not that bad uh, I mean uh, sometimes you uh, it's perceived as not the best neighborhood of, of GTA so definitely it's um, kind of show the best side of Scarborough and we feature some of the Scarborough filmmakers and we'll talk about the programming maybe a bit but uh, yeah there's uh, yeah so that's one of them. And how has the Scarborough community been embracing the festival even though it's its first year but how have they embra been embracing it so far? Uh, so far so good. I mean people get surprised. I uh, just talked to someone a few, few seconds ago and uh, they're like wow there's a film festival. Yes it's our first year and it's exciting. Some, some people email and actually say oh we wanted to start it six seven years ago and good for you that you actually started it and uh, people get surprised because why is it is it and they don't they don't get it is it films about Scarborough is it server filmmakers what is it so it's it's definitely justifying or explaining that you know it's just our motto is watch great films so uh, yeah, it's 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 been an interesting road leading up, and especially if, when we started calling sponsors. You know, there's a film festival. You do you want to support? Oh, we didn't know there was a film festival. It's like, well, there is no film festival, but please support it. So it's there will be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and tell me a little bit more about the programming and what we can expect to see shown at the festival. Sure. So uh, we have uh, amazing lineup. We love it. So we it's it was a small team choosing the films. We had uh, over 300 submissions in our first year, which is kind of a lot for uh, for for first time uh, film festival. And uh, we went also and looked at other film festivals. We went to other film festivals, looked at what they had asked to filmmakers to send us screeners, and then kind of choose that way. So what you can expect is nine features and eight short films. Uh, most uh, all features are premieres. So in terms of they haven't played in Ontario or Canada or North America or it's world premieres, couple of world premieres. Uh, short films will have also a couple of premieres and a couple of people um, like Scarborough filmmakers. They they were shown in Toronto, but we just wanted to kind of highlight them once again and and uh, and bring them to the festival. So uh, uh, yeah, we have films from France and we have films from Iran and then we have films from Russia and we have films from. Estonia, Al Algeria, USA, Australia. So it's a diverse lineup, and we all obviously kind of took a note of how diverse Toronto is, the most diverse city in the world culturally. Uh, and uh, we want to kind of say, listen, we want to play something for everyone. Uh, we have a couple of films from India as well. So uh, the the opening film is a is a French Estonian film. It's uh, A Lady in Paris. It, uh, it's ten, uh, stars uh, this amazing French actress Jeanne Moreau. And uh, it's our opening, it's a sweet, romantic, lyrical kind of uh, comedy drama. Uh, the Closing Night film is Iranian, French co-production, uh, uh, A Respectable Family. It played at the Vancouver International Film Festival, it played at Cannes, it played... Uh, it, it's, 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 it's a really th uh, political thriller kind of, based on this family, and uh, it speaks to the right of uh, freedom of speech. There's different, different uh, yeah, layers of pro uh, films, yeah. And you have an amazing jury on board with the film festival, including Sud Sutherland, who's a very respected filmmaker here in Canada, and some anchors from CTV. Tell me a little bit about how you got them on board with your festival. So it's it's just people were excited when uh, some people were not sure it's what, what is this? Are you going to show some kind of weird films? They they weren't sure what the programming is going to be because we approached even from volunteers or staff or or the jury. The jury in particular, they uh, Sads is originally from Scarborough. He's a Scarborough native filmmaker, and uh, we got lucky with all of them. We have five juries. 
Uh, they would select the in-competition films. We have three awards, Best, uh, best Film uh, Festival, Grand Prix, uh, Best Director, and Best Cinematography. So uh, Suds, yeah, amazing. Uh, we have Karen Bruce, who's the uh, Director of Membership at the uh, uh, Academy of uh, Motion Picture and Television in Canada. And uh, we have Eli Glasner, we have uh, Mohit, we have Diana Wong from uh, Real Canada. So they kind of came together. We got lucky. I, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain. And, and same with, again, the jury, the sponsors. It's just people believed in the idea and they wanted to help. Uh, and uh, yeah. And how did you first meet Eric Martian and June as well? Sure. So um, uh, June, uh, who's the co-director of the festival, and uh, we met uh, while working at another film festival here in Toronto. So uh, and. Yeah, we kind of said, well, she's from Scarborough as well. She's like, okay, yeah, I would love to. And uh, we kind of clicked and we moved forward. And Eric, uh, we, we both graduated from Centennial College, uh, but different years. So I went to the graduating year that he was graduating. And I was introduced by one of the professors saying, oh, by the way, this, this guy's starting a film festival. This guy loves film and he does reviews. Maybe there's something. So I said, okay, yeah, maybe. And it was just maybe over a year ago or yeah, over a year ago. So, and uh, yeah, he said, yeah, I would love to. And his knowledge, I met him, his knowledge on film is just, wow. And not just the filmmakers, but he knows the distributors, where it's, uh, who's buying, who's selling. So it was a pleasure to work with them. And you know, to have this, uh, it's a shame they're not here mm -hmm. because it's, it's actually a team effort, uh, definitely. So it's, yeah. And what are your goals for the festival in the future in terms of branching out and also affecting the Scarborough community? Uh, good question. It's it's hard to look past the festival is next next week, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it's hard to uh, look past that. But uh, the hope is definitely to to keep growing. Uh, you know, uh, for me the the festival. I mean, again, there are different reasons why I I got involved and started, but it was based for me on the Tribeca Film Festival idea. So when Robert De Niro came in after 9/11, he said, well, "How about we?" revitalized the area of Tribeca, which got suffered from 9-11, was so close. Plus, it was a really looked down part of uh, Manhattan Island. So he said, let's, let's bring something positive. Let's invite tourists. Let's give something the residents to watch. And uh, in 10 years, it became the top five film festivals in the, in the world. So the, and it, it, it's attended over half a million people come, and it's amazing films. And so the idea for me is kind of similar. So obviously, we don't know how it's going to uh, unfold. And uh, yeah, just. Again, our motto is watch great films, so through those films we definitely hope to bring tourists and, and, and support the Scarborough and support the Scarborough filmmakers and whatnot. So. And where is the best place to find out more information online? How do we buy tickets? And can you tell me the exact dates where we can catch the festival? Sure. So the festival is happening uh, June 4th to the 6th, uh, to, June 4th to the 9th. Uh, 2013, uh, so Tuesday to Sunday. Uh, you can visit us on uh, www, no one says that anymore, www.scarboroughfilmfestival.com. Uh, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, uh, Scarborough FF on Twitter, uh, and uh, that's will give you the whole schedule, the whole lineup. We're at the Fox Theater, which is Queen Street East, and we're at the UFT Scarborough uh, campus, uh, which is at Morningside and Ellesmere. So we have two venues, uh, really exciting. It's again, it's uh, so so much to see in, in those few days. It's a small festival, but again, we, we try to kind of fit as much possible as in. So yeah, definitely visit us online. Tickets wise, you can buy pre-buy in advance online, or you can buy at the door. So yeah. Thank you so much. Congratulations on such an ambitious initiative, and I wish you the best of luck this year and in years to come. Thank you, Katie. Yeah, and we hope to see you and your audiences at the festival as well, and kind of so they experience it as well. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats here in downtown Toronto.